Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the batteries in the Honeywell 6 combo, a combination smoke detector, heat detector, and carbon monoxide sensor. Uh, this is the wireless combination life safety sensor for the Honeywell Lyric. Uh, so uh, the Honeywell 6 combo, uh, it's somewhat of a battery hog. It uses four uh, CR123A batteries. Uh, those are lithium uh, CR123A batteries. You definitely want to use lithium to get the longest product life, um, longest battery life, that is. Um, the they, they four uh, CR123A batteries uh, come included with the, the sensor, so you're good to go from the start. And the expected battery life is about five years, so you're, you're covered for a while. Uh, these are also known as camera batteries, uh, so just if you're looking for them, and you definitely want to get lithium, like I said. And these are three volt batteries. Um, so uh, the way that uh, low battery detection works, um, when the battery voltage drops too low, if it falls below a certain threshold, uh, you'll get a notification on your panel that the batteries are low and it's time for replacement. Uh, so then you'll know to go and replace your batteries. And you want to do that as soon as possible because if the battery voltage drops even lower, then um, the sensor will go offline entirely. You'll get RF supervision trouble, assuming you have that enabled on your system. And uh, you, you know, it won't be sending signals to the panel. So if there was a, a fire or an outbreak of carbon monoxide gas, then um, you, know, you, you wouldn't get the report on your system. Then that's, that's very dangerous. So uh, as this is a life safety sensor, you really want to make sure that you're replacing the batteries when told to do so by the panel, when you get the low battery uh, trouble condition. So uh, the first thing you have to do with the six combo is you have to open it up. So um, we'll have my hand simulate uh, the ceiling or the wall. And you just twist it, uh, you twist it counterclockwise, and you can pull it off. Yeah, right, right there. And you see, we're going to get um, a tamper condition on the on the panel there. So um, we're just going to have that be quiet by pressing the, the green house button right there. So um, I'm going to set this aside right now, uh, the back cover. So we have our um, uh, four batteries right here, the CR123A batteries, uh, the lithium batteries. Uh, these are the Panasonic brand. They're a few different recommended brands you can use. I refer to the manual if you want to know which type to use. Um, so um, we can just we'll take we'll take them all out and simulate putting them back in. Uh, we didn't bring um, other batteries today um, because, like I said, this is somewhat of a battery hog, and uh, we didn't have um, random batteries just uh, sitting around. I'm, I'm sure we do somewhere in the office, but I didn't bother to find them. So we'll just put these back in. These are good batteries. We didn't have a low battery condition on our panel, but we wanted to show you anyway. So you can see that we have removed the batteries. I literally just took my finger and you know pulled them all out. Pretty simple. So um, now, uh, like, like any battery, you do have to observe polarity. Um, that is positive and negative. You see um, there's a positive end and a negative end for the four batteries, you can look, look at all of them. They, they all have uh, the symbols there, so you know which way to insert the batteries. So uh, we'll do this one at a time. Uh, we have the battery here, and um, we're going to do the positive end in the proper uh, uh, slot. So we just want to put it in there. There's the first battery. And then, um, again, observing polarity. And uh, we'll just put that in. And then we'll do the other two right there. There, that's three. And get the last one. And we got that in. And uh, we'll get that to be quiet right there. Um, we'll enter in our um, master code to get that to um, we'll do that one more time, just to get it to um, stop showing the trouble condition. Well, we, 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 still have the, we still have the tamper off, so that's why it's still doing that. So we'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, but uh, now we have our batteries inserted, um, so we can go and put our cover back on. Um, that, that'll go away once we um, put the, tamp the cover on and uh, press down the tamper switch. So uh, what we want to do, we want to align it um, so that way it's um, on the, the sensor evenly. Um, if you were uh, doing this um, against the wall, then you, you wouldn't really see what you're doing, but just kind of line it up like this. Um, so that way it's see how it's all flat on there. That's, that's what you're trying to simulate when you have it on the wall. But uh, we have ours against the wall now, and then we turn it clockwise, and it clicks into place, locks into place, and it's, it's nice and closed. So uh, the last thing I want to do, um, like I said, we did put the, the tamper cover back on, the cover tamper, that is, <laughs> the cover tamper. And we're going to uh, press the green button here so we can get to the, our keypad. And we'll enter in our master code, which ours is at the default. One, two, three, four. Disarm. Ready to and now, 
Now with the, the cover tamper properly applied, um, we, do, uh, we are able to clear the trouble on the system. Um, and if we had a low battery condition, uh, we would have fixed that because we would have taken out the old batteries and we would have put in fresh ones in. Again, these are CR123A batteries, um, lithium batteries. That's what you want to use, camera batteries, lithium camera batteries. Um, so uh, that's how you replace the batteries in your Honeywell 6 combo. Uh, you have an expected battery life of five years. Um, so when you get a low battery trouble condition, uh, make sure to replace the batteries as soon as possible so that way the... Uh, the sensor doesn't go offline. This is a life safety sensor. It's very important that you keep it online. Protect yourself and those around you, your, your property. It's very important. So if you have any questions about the Honeywell Lyric or the, the Honeywell 6 combo um, or about uh, lithium batteries, um, CR123A batteries, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.